Hey gamers, welcome to Gamer Guy Channel. I am Rollin in Robocraft, and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to build this Tier 5 Healing Hovercraft in my Electro Mantis series. It's 119 blocks and 748 CPU. It's a compact armor design that uses six over tier nano disruptors, so you're going to need to have those unlocked before you're able to build this the way I show it. It uses an even build, so we're not going to be able to use that new cool symmetry tool that is stuck in the game, unfortunately. It's also 155,425 RP and uses the blocks I'm showing off here to the right. It's great at defending against railguns and plasma shots, as you can see from these clips, but uses a rudderless design so it's a little bit more sensitive on left and right than my other builds. It's easy to get used to, though. Alright, let's jump over to the garage and get started. Alright, let's get started with this build. First thing we're going to do is uh, set down our base. and uh, So this is an even build. We're not going to be able to use the symmetry structure, so I'm going to go ahead and start it here. Um, and we'll just go up four blocks and put our first block down, which will be an inner. We're going to use inners exclusively, as you saw. We're not really using any cubes at all, just to save some light. And we're going to make this ten long. Ten down the middle and uh, double that. So we got here it's three, six, ten. All right, and then the same here on the other side too. I like to have them where the uh, cut corners are on the inside, like this. And run that all the way down. Next, we're going to take our inner. Prism, rather, and we're going to build that out here five blocks. Do that in front of that. This. Do that on both sides. We're going to use our inners again here on the outside and put four uh, going down like this to connect the outsides. Well, that's our base. I'm going to turn these around too, so it looks pretty good. Now we're going to add two more cubes to the front, two more of these inners, I should say. And if you want, you can turn them so uh, you hide the corner. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and take the time to do that. Do that on both ends. You're going to end up putting a gun on this. And then here we're going to put a extra inner, and on the end of that we'll put prism face downward. And then here we'll do prism face upward. Okay, now we're going to add some counterbalance to the bottom. We're going to use those heavy blocks. Put two on the sides here. On both sides. And then we're going to use the tetras in the front. We're only using three because we're going to put radar on one of them. And it's going to be the one on the back, so we'll just leave that one open blank. And put two on this other side. And that will keep help our uh, hovercraft right side up. Now we're going to go ahead and add some more inners to the top of this. Start with this one here. We're going to add four of them. Let's 
same to both sides. Alright, now we're going to add a couple more of these inners. We'll add three more here. are four tetra here on each of these corners. And for the final part of the frame, we're going to use two of these prisms on either side. The positioning on these is going to be important, so make sure to turn them the way I'm doing it here in the video. It'll take you a couple of steps to do it right. block too just because I think it looks better without the corner showing. Alright, now we're ready to add our functional components. Oh, I need to turn this one too. This is wrong. Alright, now we're ready to add our functional components. We're going to add four of our tier 2 thrusters. Put them on the side here facing each other. Tier 4 thrusters. Our pilot seat's going to go right here. Need to add four Tier 4 hover blades. eight of our tier five electroplates. If you have the special edition numbered ones, you can use those too. They're the exact same thing, they just look a little different. Now we're going to go ahead and add six of our tier six nanotech cannons. and one tier 5 radar. Oh, and one more thing, we need to add on our tier 3 radar jammers, and so put those on the bottom side so they're counterbalanced against each other like that, and that should wrap things up. All right, guys, well, that completes my Tier 5 version of the Electromantis. In my next video, I'm going to be showing off my TX1 Megabot, which is all the way up at CPU max now, 7,555. 
And I'm probably going to be rebuilding it, though, using some of the advice I share in my next video. Please leave a comment below and a thumbs up on what you thought about this Tier 5 Electromantis and my other Electromantis. If you have a suggestion, too, for a different kind of robot you'd like to see me build in the future, also leave that in the comments below. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, checking me out. Do come back soon here on Gamer Guide, and I will see you next time. Later.